Welcome to The Real McCoy 411. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell button for notifications. This is my natural hair care journey. And I'm inviting you to take it with me. What we're going to be doing is learning about products, what to do and not do. More than likely, I'll be showing you what not to do. And then we'll go ahead and do the do's together. Because it's been a rough start. It's been a rough start. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video on just what I am learning to do with my hair at night okay so earlier i showed you guys i did a wash and go and i put the little buns up and that was a very long video and i did not know how to edit it so i'm gonna try to make this one as short and sweet as possible first i wanted to show y'all something now i was so excited about this gel right i could not find this gel anywhere so i went to target and I found this gel for $2.89, right? $2.89. But before I found this gel, I went on Amazon and I ordered a gel that was extreme wet line. It was $7.89. And it was for this. This little bitty thing is what I got. I thought I was getting this. So $7.89, so $7, $8 right here, and $3 right here from Tarjay. So I'm going to save this here for emergencies, okay? That will not be, in, be used for the videos. That's some, that's some $8 gel right there, okay? So let's get started. It's very simple what I do at night. And it has helped me thus far, and I have been watching some videos, so I'm able to see what other people do at night, and it's kind of similar, really. Here, taking down this little, and I normally don't use the rubber bands, but I couldn't find my little scrunchies. But a raw. I found them now. I sure did. I sure did. So we're going to be putting up my hair for the nighttime routine. And it looks hideous. It really does. And I don't care because it's working. My hair has grown a lot since April, y'all. I'm going to have to figure out a way to upload y'all the video so that y'all can see it. This is what I sleep in. This is my hair bonnet. And... I'm just so excited to have this channel, y'all. I want to go live so bad. But I have to build my audience before I go live because I want to talk. I like to talk to people. So I'm taking out some hair ties, okay? I'm taking out my little hair clamps. I really don't need the clamps. Need the clamps. I got short hair. And in this bottle is warm water. Uh, really just warm water and I have a little bit of black castor oil in here just a little bit all right let's get busy you know what I'm so simple this is what I'm gonna do instead of talking I'm gonna go because I don't know how to input music so I'm finna input me some mu some music on here. Cause see I don't have to use my phone, y'all. I got a camera. I don't have a tripod or none of that kind of stuff like that. But I'm getting there. Step by step, okay? I don't know what y'all like to hear. Actually, I'm wasting time. So let's get started. I have some music next time. So I'm just gonna spray my hair with the warm water. I don't soak it because like I said, I am getting ready for bed. And I do 
just make sure it's wet just before I do some part and stuff because remember I have gel in it and I don't know how to make um, so many days out of the wash and go so like every day I pretty much have to do a wash and go and I don't want to do that so because I don't like wetting my hair every day but my hair I have found out is low porosity so a little water won't hurt my head every day because I need all the moisture I can get so this is normally how I do I part round right about there and I bring my my ponytails I bring them down because uh, I don't want to lose my edges. You know, maybe that don't have anything to do with losing your edges. I don't know. But I was told that pulling your hair back can actually help you lose your edges if you if you go on that route. Me personally, I'm not going that route. I'm 42 years old and I need all, all my edges. All of them, not some of them. I need all my edges, and these here are just multicolored twisties. And I'm putting it up, and I know that they have a routine where they go and they band. I'm gonna try, I saw that, I'm gonna try it, but I don't think I have enough hair for that to band it because. Even when I did try to band it, it still looked the same that morning. So, it really wasn't that big of a difference for me. Like I said, I don't have one. I don't have a lot of hair. I have a lot of hair if you look at when I started in April. And my hair has a tendency to grow out instead of growing down and that is where I want my hair to be I want my hair to be on my shoulders that's what I want I'm telling y'all that's what I want so bad but my main focus right now is just to have healthy hair you know so I can go through all these little steps. I'll go through any little steps, any suggestions that you guys may have. Um, I'll do it. Because I want some healthy hair. I don't just want it to sit on my shoulder. I want it to sit on my shoulder, but when it gets to my shoulder, I want it to be healthy. So that's where we at right now. That's where we at right now. And like I said, that's just warm water and a little Jamaican castor oil. And in the morning, I probably have to do a co-wash, but I at least got the Jamaican castor oil in there and it got a chance to sit in my hair overnight. Yeah, right now I'm focusing on moisture and healthy. That's what I want. Moist and healthy. That's what I want. That's the goal. The goal goal. Now that's the goal, but the goal goal is to have my hair here on my shoulders. and have it healthy when I um I think it's been about it's been about a week now I think I um colored my hair because I had color in my hair my hair was like a brownish color and I colored my hair black right yeah yeah, I colored it black. Um, 
And I haven't really adjusted to it, y'all. I'm telling you, I have been wearing color forever. But I wanted to, you know, do something different. And what do I do? I went and colored my hair. And it don't get no different from me than to have black hair. See, this is why I wet my hair so that I can be able to comb through it with the oil. Because my hair is, gets hard. But one thing I am noticing, there is no hair in my comb. None. So that's big because when I first colored my hair, there was some shedding that was happening in <laughs> Baby, I thought I was going to go bald here. I was thought I was going to go bald here and I was like, Lord, you're taking me the natural way for real, for real. I thought I was going to lose all my little hair. You talking about somebody who was hurt on the inside. I was hurt. I was like, Lord, no, please, Jesus, don't take my hair don't take my hair and see all of this i didn't have none of this hair was here so my hair has grown quite a bit but like i said it's growing out and it's getting thick it's not growing down so well we're gonna take what god give us and uh we're gonna work with it and we're gonna go from there Boing boing, sha boing boing, sha boing boing. So I have three ponytails left, y'all. Three of my little bunches left, and I will be cutting this video short today because I don't know how to edit them yet, and I for one, don't like to look at long videos. So until I learn how to edit them, I won't be having no long videos. So all of my videos will be, I'm trying to keep them in a, a time limit, I really am. But if it's something that I really think we need to talk about, then we'll talk about it. But if it's not, I'm gonna try to keep it to a minimum. Because I don't want to be wasting y'all time. Which I'm not wasting y'all time. Mm. Y'all my, y'all my YouTube family. My YouTube family is growing. And I want it to grow more. So remember to subscribe. Remember to like the bell. So that you can get any YouTube notifications. Uh, anytime I upload. Remember to hit that bell so that you can be on board with me, okay? Now, um, one step that I didn't do that I'm not going to do, I'm going to show you all. Sometimes, sometimes, I twist my ends and then I put a little... rubber band on the end. That's sometimes. But that's not going to happen today. I'm going to go ahead and do these two in the front. And now they are a little twists. Because you never know. You may just want to do a little you know a little twist out or something the next day. I don't know. I never do a twist out. I have yet to master the twist out. So, but just to, for protection, you double horns, double horns. Okay, but sometimes I do that. These won't get that, and these are going to come down. So, because I don't have, I usually plait them, I'll braid them up. Okay, so uh, remember, if you go to Amazon, Farmer Packs, 
Wet Line Extreme Gel. This gel here gonna cost you eight dollars, and it is for eight point eight two ounces. I should have read that. You go to Target, Target. This big old thing here, which is thirty five point two eight ounces. You're gonna pay three dollars. I'm learning. See, I told y'all. I'm going to learn the do's and don'ts. And more than likely, I'm going to do the don'ts so that y'all won't have to. <sighs> okay. Remember to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button. And if you could, please, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you have some constructive criticism, please leave it down below because I am in the process of learning and I'll take any kind of help that I can get. Okay? Thank you guys. Talk to you later.